Hi, I'm Tom Smith from Learning Encounters. Uh, we're here in uh, Learning Encounters Test Lab. Um, I've been a lifelong enthusiast of astronomy and I'm here to talk to you today about how to choose your first scope. I would assume that many of you are like me. I started off um, actually when I was like 8, 10 years old into astronomy and um, bought a department store scope uh, basically because of the price and, and didn't know anything about scopes. And I'm here to kind of keep you in that price range and I'll also explain to you uh, what you're going to be looking at in uh, telescopes. Uh, first couple of things I want to talk to you about are scopes that uh, they're typically um, kind of like pirate scopes. Um, they're very inexpensive. They're probably eight to ten dollars. They have um, plastic objective lenses and basically a slide in and out focus and here's even a uh, lower quality version of the same thing and basically if you're going to buy a scope for yourself or buy a scope for your child, I would completely stay away from this style of scope. They're going to give you very poor views and you're not going to be satisfied at all. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at on those type of scopes. And then from that, I kind of want to cover the types of scopes. For the uh, cost of around $200, $250 and down, there's really uh, three types of scopes that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, the first one is this one here, and this is called a refractor. And basically with any refractor scope, the, the heart and soul of the scope is going to be your objective lens. The second scope we're going to talk about is a reflector. A reflector is a scope that basically works on mirrors. It gathers light, sends them to a mirror, a primary mirror, bounces it back up to a secondary mirror, and then to your eye. And the third type of scope we're going to talk about is over here. These are educational scopes. Always a great scope to start with. You learn how a scope works and it helps you make decisions on scopes in the future. Okay, let's uh, basically look at this refractor. Um, this is a refractor, I'm sorry. This is a um, $200 $250 scope. It's a 50 millimeter objective lens. Um, again, that is the heart and soul of your scope. This particular scope has a singlet which is just one piece of glass in the front. It's 50 millimeter diameter. And that's really what's going to give you the best part of your views other than your eyepiece, okay? I think these are really good scopes. They're really easy scopes to use. I highly recommend them. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at with, with that. They're, they're, they show great colors, um, very little deflection, just all, all in all a really good scope to have. The next scope we're going to look at is a reflector. Typically with a reflector, you get the most bang for your buck. I mean, that's, that's what it is. Um, you get a lot bigger diameter, which gives you more light gathering power. Um, this particular one is about a $450 scope. Uh, you can get them all the way down to uh, 65 millimeter scopes. I would highly recommend staying above 114 millimeters for this style of scope. That gives you a decent amount of light gathering ability and you're going to get pretty good views with that scope. Uh, those are in the range again of around $200 to $250. Um, basically what happens here, your light enters here, it bounces off the primary mirror, comes back to the secondary mirror which is at a 45, sends it out to your eyepiece. Again, for your money, most bang for your buck. And the third style of scope we're going to look at is your educational scopes. There's a wide uh, variety and range of them. All of these scopes are assembled by the user. And if you're going to use a scope um, for the first time, I highly recommend that you get one that you can assemble. It'll teach you so much more about telescopes, how they operate, and what you might be looking for in the future. They come in a a lot of different varieties. There's always the simple cardboard scopes that are out there. They're in the $15 range. They have plastic lenses, very low quality as far as view. However, that being said, you still do get the learning experience by putting it together yourself. Then there are intermediate uh, scopes. Um, this is a Star Scout. It's a 40 millimeter. It has a glass doublet, very high quality lens. It has a uh, Kellner in the back end, which is the three element lens. Really good scope, easy to put together. The thing I like about this style of scope, you just drop it in your book, book bag, your um, backpack, whatever you have, 
and you know you're off and running and you got a really nice scope and then of course they go to the higher end scopes this is a uh, sky viewer it's a 50 millimeter actually the same diameter lens as this only it's a doublet which gives you a much better objective lens it uh, has a plaza in the back which is four element basically it has a 50 millimeter uh, lens in the front and um, you'll be able to see the rings of Saturn moons of Jupiter uh, nebula a lot of the uh, Messier objects that are out there so you're really good to go with a scope like this that being said about the scopes another important thing is your eyepiece that you select typically you'll see uh, department store scopes where they want 650 times magnification or they advertise 1000 times magnification that is not usable magnification uh, magnification is a, basically achieved through the eyepiece I particularly prefer 25 power 50 power I would never recommend buying anything that's over 100 power especially in a lower cost scope um, but basically if you look at eyepieces and I've got three of them here I've got um, 25 millimeter I've got a 12 millimeter and a 4 millimeter you can see how the diameter is changing in the lens itself which gives you a very very narrow field of view with a greater power so as objects are moving across the sky they're in and out of your telescope in the matter of seconds so you're constantly adjusting where a, a larger field of view with lower magnification will give you a crisper cleaner view and it'll be in your view for a longer period of time before you have to readjust your telescope so I kinda recommend 25 to 50 is a really really good place to be you can max out at 100 and you can do that with any of these scopes just by getting a two times Barlow you won't get the crisp clean view but you will be going to 100 power just by basically putting your eyepiece in the Barlow and of course your Barlow into the telescope they do make three times Barlow's as well I am dead set against them I think that when you get to that level you really get a diminished view you're not going to see what you expect to see but they do make them so you could take a scope with a 50 um, power lens up to 150 with a three times Barlow for relatively cheap and experiment with your scope that way those are kind of the basics that I would look for if I was first time shopper in a department store looking for a telescope. Well I hope uh, that helped you all um, when you go to the department store to get your first scope. I think that uh, these should be some pretty basic guidelines to go by. Uh, thanks for your time and have a great day.